Hello and welcome, my Leo friends, to the uh, Clairvoyant Alchemy reading for August 2016 in your sign. And actually, I just dropped the monthly reading um, the other day for August 2016. And we highlighted you, Leo, because you, you begin uh, the month off with a a spectacular new moon in your sign and the reading became very positive it's been like one of you know feel good readings I've had in a little bit here so I felt it was wonderful and it was definitely about asking for what you want and you know we got to ask our angels for the guidance that's through my meditations is what you know, is coming through, talk to the angels, and if you haven't watched that video yet, I even brought out the specific angel deck that I don't use very often, and it all awesome what it had to say, so I just want to continue with all of the positive, and uh, also I wanted to bring up about the eclipses, This I'll talk about this for all the signs as well, uh, coming in the May, excuse me, in August of um the 18th is a lunar eclipse, full moon in Aquarius, okay? And then because Virgo uh, is also a happy birthday for August, Leo and Virgos are the birthday months, uh, Virgo also has a solar eclipse, new moon, uh, beginning September, September 1st. And then there's another lunar eclipse in September 16th with Pisces, okay? And... Um, when we have eclipses, they are totally special uh, portals, okay? Unique, powerful gifts from the cosmos, okay? And also the Mayan believed that eclipses were in, a, in an unveiling, a new birth, okay? A new birth to begin. So you can sense that, you know, August, September is really going to just deliver us what we want to believe finally, you know, not from the ego, from aligning with spirit. That was the theme for this um, month of August in my reading. The theme is align with the cosmos. Believe and accept divine intervention. Okay. So let's see what happens to you, Leo. We're going to start you off with August with the clairvoyant readings because actually you brought us that new moon. So I, I kept the dragons because, you know, we're going to work with the fire element signs, and that would be you, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So I have the Tarot Dracona still going on. And because the angel theme was huge, uh, you know, because before I sit down to do a reading, I kind of <laughs> asked the cosmic realm, what, what should I deliver? How should we do it? And the angels were like, you know, tell them to ask us. Okay, tell them to ask us, to ask the angels for help and guidance. And so that's what we're going to do. So I'm bringing out the angel cards again. And then it also delivered in the monthly reading how, you know, we really want to align with our life purpose uh, or soul purpose, you know, life, soul path delivered via the cosmic. We're all coded. You know, your birth date is a code. We've all been coded to why we've come here. And some of us continue to come back to Earth, you know, because literally our soul, our soul is spectacular. It's, 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 we are all about the light, okay? The light. But let's see what, what I brought. So I brought out the life purpose deck to see. And uh, with these readings, we only do a six card spread, you know, for that harmonizing peace and karma flow number. But I do have this deck, which I haven't brought out. Oh, look at that. One card's already kind of slid on out. Okay, let's make that a bonus. Uh, the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards, okay? And this is by um, the medium uh, James Von Prock. You know, he, he worked with the show. Uh, what was... Ah, God. She was a medium. Ah, uh, it was on TV a long time. It's still the reruns still go through. But anyway, I'm sure you're familiar with him. He's he's a medium to the stars, if you want to call it like that. But 
So let us see what the cards have to say. But honestly, um, it seems like August, for those of us who are really tapping our spiritual faith, you know, we know we're coded. We know there's much more beyond than this physical plane we live on. And if we're tapping spirit, you know, spirit has a message, okay? And look at this. Look at, look at the lights coming through right now, because literally, I don't know if you can hear the thunder, uh, you know, right over to my, uh, this is the, the uh, east side of my home. The west side's like loaded with clouds and thunder. So now it's coming through the light. And I find that mystically wonderful, okay? But definitely uh, these next few weeks, August, September, we, we really want to start tapping what, what they're going to deliver, okay? And I think it's going to be fabulous. So I'm on board with um, bringing in only quality stuff for, you know, this channel. And I, I owe, you know, I don't want to repeat myself, but I want you guys to know that I, I definitely sit down and meditate a lot before I bring out a reading, you know, because I, I want, uh, I don't want to waste my time or your time. And it's not wasting time when we work with spirit, okay? It's never wasted time. And the messages do come through, but you really have to sit down and, and take that time. So I've been suggesting for months now, a year, probably a year or two now, you know, you kind of turn the technology off, okay? First card in my hand. All right. And, and Leo, I'm speaking to you because you, you rule from your heart, okay? And when, and all of us, all of us, we all have a heart. So all of us, if we come from our heart zone and we rule our thoughts and ideas and, and everything we do from our heart, it, it will bring forth the highest loving good to all, okay? The highest love. And then when you're working with the angels or your guides, spirit guides, even these little, I was saying in the monthly reading, these little birds give so much wisdom. You know, if you see a butterfly fly in front of you, look up their totem animal wisdom, which is beautiful, okay? And uh, and I have a lot of doves here, morning doves, uh, all kind of doves. I have different uh, varieties of dove here. And they're about love, peace, and courage, okay? So, all right. Let me take a moment here. You know, I like that uh, breathing out. So let's just take a moment here and exhale strong like a fire dragon would. Just exhale strong. And bring your belly in tight, your abdominal wall. And then inhale just as strong. And Buddha belly out. You try to hold it as long as you can, and then we exhale slow. I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but it's amazing. It's thundering to the west, and we got the white light, bright light right here with us, the golden light. <laughs> How beautiful. Okay, and, and work with your angel guides as well. Call on the angels. Uh, they love when we speak to them. They adore when we align with them. And remember, we really have a path here. All of us do. All of us do. I'm seeing some kind of light here. Are you seeing that? Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I don't think I've ever noticed that when I've read some cards. And I, I like sitting here because I, I like the white light. And it's too hot to sit by my fireplace. Oh, my Lord, the last time I did it, you know, with the air conditioning running, I'm sweating in front of the fire. And that doesn't make sense, you know, because we want to let, you know, whatever I'm burning in the fireplace to exit, not be stuck in the house. All right, we have six cards now. And then we'll pull uh, this Soul's Journey one card. But we do have a bonus card, which I'm curious about now as well. Okay, my darlings. Make these next, uh, you know, couple of months, especially with these eclipses, really unveil your new self, okay? Know that we, we need to uh, align with the divine, all right, to receive the gifts of the cosmic realm. They want to talk to us, 
and you you just ask for what you want okay and if you don't get it then ask for something better okay because maybe you're not aligning correctly all right and it's not about coming from ego or you know or, or things it's about you talking from heart to heart to spirit okay oh how delicious <laughs> The Queen of Pentacles is here. How wonderful. And actually, for the monthly reading, it, it came out, you know, that coins on the tape. Coin can come to you, you know. The resources, the money. Okay? But you got to walk the talk now. You got to believe in mastering yourself. But it isn't that fabulous, and, and you got we got to go out to nature and ground. Look at her sitting on her throne chair. You know she's been through it. She's mastered herself, and she has financial and business mastery. You know, she uh, she likes to spend it too. She's the philanthropist of the deck. The Queen of Coins is, so she gives back. And that's the beautiful thing, you know. I mean, you see, you, you read about these billionaires, and I don't know, do they give anything back? I'm not sure. I'm not trying to put them down in any way. They've attained what they have, but it's important to give it back, okay? Because we, you can't take it with you, my darling. you got to stand her strong. Yes, we will stand her strong. You know, all this stuff, we can't take it with us. When we exit... When we exit this body and our, you know, our light unit continues to the next realm, wherever that may be, you know, you, you, you've got to come back knowing that you gave it all you could without, you know, thinking it's all about making money. The moment you continue to think it's about, oh, I got to make money, well, yes, we have to pay the bills. Like, I'm not talking about that. We have to work and pay bills, but... What I'm saying is when we align with the divine, and it takes patience, okay? There's no quick fix with praying, a, you know, the higher consciousness, okay? But when you consciously want to pray or meditate or whatever it is you do, channel in the divine cosmic realm, then have patience, and they will bring you what you deserve, and it will be a win-win. <gasps> Win, win with the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. How fabulous. Wow. Planet Jupiter in the house. And I've been talking about it on September 9th, 2016, which is a 999 code, okay? Which 999 is 27, which is 2 and 7. It's still a 9. Jupiter goes into the uh, Libra, okay, for 10 months, and it stays there until 10, 10, 2017. So now we have Jupiter in the house. The Wheel of Fortune is here, okay, and that's about that opportunity. Giving yourselves, and if you're aligning with the Spirit, how we've been talking this month of August, it's about aligning with Spirit, working with the cosmic realms. These eclipses, three in a row coming, is, is, is a gift from the gods and the goddesses and the cosmic universe. It's so unique. It, it only happens maybe twice a year or something like that. I'm not an astrologer, people, you know that, but it's amazing. And it's all about energy. Okay. Energy. So here we have this luck, this growth. Enthusiasm. Be enthusiastic about what can be happening for you, Leo. How wonderful. Wow, Leo, you brought us, you know, a nice vibe with this new moon on Tuesday coming up, the second. So for all signs in the respect of whoever's watching this video, you know, align with that same kind of thought pattern, that kind of, same kind of heart zone thinking, you know, that if you work with the cosmic realm, Divine intervention, pray. Divine intervention, teach me. Okay, teach my soul. Because really, we, we're not coming from the ego right now. This is talking to the soul. Soul to the cosmic realm. Cosmic realm to my soul. 
my angels, talk to my soul, okay? And you know, angels are balls of light as well. It's, it's amazing what can happen, but this is about success and fortune, harmonizing, having high aspirations. You know, put it out there. I, I have high aspirations for what you're going to deliver to me, divine consciousness. And we really do. We have to mentally be clear as well. My heart, my body, my soul, my mind, I want to align. Look at this. Two cards back to back, standing strong. How beautiful. And even for the monthly reading, I'm working with the Tarot Tricanas, and the star card came through, Major Arcana. And I'm highlighting it because that's what the authors chose. It's the lovers and the star. So you see how the stars, you look, want to wish upon those stars. For months now, that's been the theme in my readings. Okay? And I'm not talking about, you know, from my ego. I pull the cards. And that's what's coming through. It's fabulous. So the stars are speaking. Look up. Look up to our sun star. Get outside. Ground with mother. That combination. Ground. You know, if you can be barefoot, you know, on grass or the beach or you know, whatever. Ground barefootly. And you look up to the sun star and feel the warmth. And then you start praying to the stars and the angels and whatever spirit guides. Now you see some animals, you know, around you while you're doing that. You, know, you go outside for half an hour, turn off the technology. And if you witness animals or birds or, you know, dolphins swim by here, you know, where I live in Florida, the dolphins come through or a stingray, whatever it is, wherever you live. You know, even coyote, if you're in the mountains, much wisdom from coyote. Seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary word. Look at that. Earth again, the coins, the discs, how beautiful. And sevens are about that spiritual number, no doubt, aligning with spirit. Here we go. And, you know, it can be spiritual victory or a spiritual challenge. And that's okay. Let's challenge ourselves through, you know, when when there's adversity and we challenge that and we become courageous because Leo is courageous, right? You're the courageous lion. You're about that courage. All right? You're, I mean, <laughs> Leo's you know, the king of the jungle. We were teasing about that in the monthly reading. You know, the major lion, you know, he kind of has many lionesses, <laughs> and they're the ones that hunt the prey to feed the pack, while the lion just kind of recreates, right? <laughs> Isn't that what Leos are about? Fatherhood, creativity, and recreation. So get outside to recreate. No, don't even bring phone. Well, for safety reasons, you should always have a phone, but don't be on the phone. Try to walk barefoot. Look up to the sun star and realize that there's nothing to worry about, but we got to align and plant the seeds, okay? Plant those seeds. Beautiful. Another card I'm going to stand up strong. Wow, how nice is this? Leo, a lot of good energy here. I mean, a mastery queen comes through from the get out of Earth. Okay, we got the spiritual number of earth here and the wheel of fortune. And the wheel of fortune, you know, can be luck. Some people get lucky, but it's about also if you, you know, walk the talk, then, and you align with spirit, it'll all happen. Just have patience, patience. There's nothing, when you're working with spirit, there's no, uh, you know, fast track. <laughs> you know, it's, it's patience. Eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Okay, my dear Leos, but we, we want you to have courage. Okay, courage. And, and many of us, many of us get stuck. Okay, you know, it's, we can get stuck, you know, concern ourselves, what if, what up. That's, that's, Human behavior, actually, human. But since we're working with our soul for this next few months, 
especially because it came out in the monthly reading and now it's coming through for you as well. You know, ask the angels for guidance. Okay. Meditate, contemplate on what you really want and have courage. Leo, if, if any sign is courageous, it's yours. Okay. You, you roar when you have to. And then you lounge when you want to. <laughs> but, uh, you know, eight is a power number as well to me. Okay. Eight is about power and success. So just, you know, stand strong. You know, consider your health. Because sometimes if we're not feeling well, our, you know, our mind, we start thinking, you know, the negative side. But, you know, overcome your obstacles, okay? Overcome your obstacles and, and, and stay strong in health. You know, let's all eat better, organic. You know, drink, hydrate with water, you know, every hour on the hour. Uh, and just believe in yourselves. And, again, the cosmic realm align with your guardians, your spirit guides, whether they are animals, whether they are, you know, your loved ones in heaven. You just believe that this world is not about an eight to five job. This world is so much grander, okay? So much more. And when we start aligning with spirit, uh, they're gonna bring us the messages. And some of us, some of us get slapped in the face so many times that we 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 don't even pay attention to it. But you gotta pay attention now, especially with these eclipses. Back to back to back, three of them in a row. It's amazing. It's amazing. Justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Wonderful. There you go. So justify what you're going to start doing, my darlings. And, and help heal others. You know, that's one thing I've learned since going on YouTube. I, you know, used to have a lot of people in my world. But now that I'm doing this, they, you know, they think I'm some kind of freak, which, hey, that's their problem, not mine. But just prepare that when you do start work, walking and talking in spiritual faith, that a lot of people aren't going to get it. Okay. But you continue because you will be receiving the justice from the heavens. Okay. And, and whatever you do. You know, lawyers, I'm not trying to diss any lawyers if you're watching, but that you are watching, I'm a loving it. Because that's one profession that is all about money, and I've never met a truthful lawyer ever. Okay? Never. But whatever you do, now in the health field, that's a whole different deal. You know, you know, doctors and everything. And some of them, you know, do it to make money, but overall... You know, they witness so much pain and so much disease that I have to believe that the doctors are aligning with spirit. But whatever you're working on, you know, it's all about fairness and protection, okay, to help heal this planet. That's what we're doing. When we call on our guides, our angels, even our loved ones, it's to help heal. Tell us what to do. Tell us to help heal us, okay. Okay, another card that brings information that you can stand up tall. Travel. <laughs> Your life purpose involves traveling. Wow. Well, that can mean, you know, getting on a plane and traveling, but that can also mean that you're, you know, whatever you do on the uh, Internet, you see he's got his computer, you, your voice can travel around the globe. You know, like, I mean, I adore knowing that I have people who contact me from Australia, from Japan, England, I have a large group that follow, of course the USA, Australians, I, I adore it, I adore it. So, you know, it's like my readings travel around the world, and it's, um, again, you know, I try not to repeat too much, but I have to say that I didn't even want to come on this YouTube, but it, Spirit changed my life. And that's why I can speak this way. It's changed my life for the better. And the naysayers, you know what? 
even though I had many as friends, they may say me now, so they weren't my true friends, you see. If I have people that I've been talking to for the years I've been on YouTube that I've never personally met them, but I adore them. And I know they adore me. <laughs> you know, that's spirit working. You know, spirit, because we're like, their soul is getting my soul. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, a it's not a physical thing. It's a soul connection. All right. But if you do travel for what you do, how fabulous is that? Okay. I, I commend those who can get on a plane. I, I get nervous on planes. So I don't too many planes, unless it's for vacation time, you know, but I couldn't imagine getting on a plane once a week to do business. It, it's just, I like being on the ground. <laughs> I like boating, though. If I could boat around the world, I'd do that. And I feel safer <laughs> on a boat. No. I'm a mermaid. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> okay, this is a bonus card, and I'm going to pick a card for today from the Soul's Journey Lesson card. Okay, and here we have it right there. Okay, my darlings. Okay, so let's let's pick the one I just picked first. Humor, look how cute is that? With the laughing Buddha, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Ah, oh, I like that. I like that. You see, you know, look at this with the wheel of fortune, you know. This, this is the wheel. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, right? But don't give up, you know, and have light about yourself. Even, see this eight of air came through, okay? Let's, let's just think about the better things. The laughter is the best medicine, as they say. Laughter is the best medicine to heal, even if you're going through some issues, okay? But humor, there you are. Beautiful. So... You know, major arcana wheel of fortune. You know, enjoy your life and love. Look at this. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. See how wonderful that is. You know, and this is a quick read. I'm going to read them both because look at that humor and love. I'd have to say, I'd have to say these are the most two important uh, feelings that a human can do is love and laugh and believe in themselves. How beautiful. How beautiful. Wow. I, I love how this is closed for us. Humor with the, with the laughing Buddha. And Buddha will have so much wisdom. And love has come through. That's, that's, that's the grandest gift of all is love. The greatest gift of all is love, and it's come through. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. And having fun came out for the August reading as well, the monthly reading. Having fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, we were just saying laughter is the best medicine, and laughter is an instant vacation. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. There you go. Okay, there you go. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. The endless chatter of this physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind. So do your best to listen to happy music, read soul-enriching fiction, and be wary of movies or TV shows that can darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. Oh, wow. Look at this. And even in the monthly reading, I had to stand up all the cards because they all had so much definite, fabulous wisdom. But the love has come through my joys. Look at this. This is the most healing gift of all. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You are love. It is your inherent vibration. The obstacles and challenges of the physical dimension 
attempt to trick you into thinking that there are other ways to view life. But there is only one way that is natural to your being, and that is love. This card simply reminds you that your soul is made of God's pure divine vibrational force of love and that you need to bring this awareness to bear on every aspect of your life and being. That's fabulous. Let, let me just read that again. This card simply reminds you that your soul, we've been talking about the soul, is made of God's pure divine vibrational force of love and that you need to bring this awareness to bear on every aspect of your life and being. Love is a healing energy. All anxiety and drama cannot exist in the aura of love. Most souls have come back upon this earth to learn. You can say that. Many of us continue to come back to this beautiful planet to teach and, and to keep it with beauty. And that's why you know, this hate is going to be clouded with love. Most souls have come back upon this earth to learn, accept, and utilize this harmonic force and to see its effect upon their lives. It is your time to remind others of the strength of their own power of God and assist them in knowing fully that love is the most powerful element in the universe. It builds fortifies and strengthens even the most lost person. When we live in the power of love, then and only then will we know truth. True love is the spiritual link between us and God. It will guide our footsteps through the conflicts of the material world and will cleanse our hearts of unwanted facets of the human personality. Beautiful. Thank you, James Von Prague. And how fabulous is this, my darlings? Wow. If that is not powerful, divine consciousness power, I don't even know what to say. You know, so let's walk with a light step. Let's be giddy and have fun. When we, you know, and even though things can be serious, but it's, it's, it's not to be caught up in that. You know, like the chaos we've been seeing. Exude that love, you know, heal. And, you know, with animals, I don't care what kind of animal it is. It can be a ferocious bear. But when you show them love, they, they align with you. You know, it, it's amazing. And even these animals that are locked up in a cage for how long or whatever, you show them love and they heal. And then these animals, these pit bulls, you know, they fight. But you take them to a loving home, they heal, and they become a happy pet. It's amazing. You know, this world does revolve around love. This universe, this universe. And that's why I believe that we can heal this planet. I, I even believe we can heal the demons, the phantom forces, with love. We can heal them. You know? Without, when you, you know, when you bring love to the table and, and demise hate, healing begins. How wonderful. I loved your reading again, Leo. You opened us up for the month of August, and it was wonderful. It was my most uplifting reading I've had in a while in the respect. And now look what's back, came back to back. Fabulous. And for any of you watching this video, you know, you don't have to be Leo in, in case you have, you know, Leo in your charts or a loved one in your family or, you know, a lover or whatever it is for you. Just know how fabulous that this reading has come through. And, you know, Leo, your trump card is number eight, strength. So show yourselves, prove yourselves, and continue to love. Love is the greatest gift of all, and it comes from the cosmic realm. I love you all. Check.